doing welcome to good works tractors we're going to go over the top 10 gifts for tractor owners great for christmas birthdays father's day mother's day who knows what else maybe you're just looking for a gift for yourself i'm going to try to go from cheapest to most expensive most of these are going to be all universal or fairly universal for tractors some are going to be specific to certain models or certain brands or you know, it's just hard to find everything that's available for every tractor out there, but keep that in mind as we go through. Cheapest to most expensive as well. There will be links in the description below on where you can buy these. A lot of them available on Amazon or on my website or manufacturers that I work with. Some you might even get a discount on. And if you would, give a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get to it. First one here gonna be probably the cheapest on the list overall, the steering wheel knob spinner, suicide spinner called several things. This is gonna be one of those universal tractor gifts, great for the stocking if you wanna fill it in there. This is super handy even though these modern tractors do have power steering. Using one of these things is what I kinda of gravitate towards every single time I'm on a tractor. I almost reach for it instinctively. It's just so easy to turn, especially if you're in a field, if you're mowing your lawn, whatever it is you're doing, there's a lot of applications when you wanna turn as fast as you possibly can. This will help you do that. Links below to where you can get this on Amazon. Very easy, a lot of popular options out there, but uh, they come in a few different colors and relatively the same shape and size, that kind of thing. They just kind of clamp onto the steering wheel, so it doesn't really matter. As long as your tractor has a steering wheel that looks something like this, it'll work for you. You don't want to have a dirty tractor. Don't let somebody you love have a dirty tractor either. Get them some cleaning products. You may not need every single thing that you see on here, but a clean tractor is a happy tractor. And at Goodworks Tractors, we'll never be caught without our car guys. This is a really good cleaning product for you. All sorts of stuff, whether you're looking to get grime off of it, shine up that black surface, shine up the hood, clean the wheels, clean the tires. These kinds of products here are good, not just for your tractor, but for your car, for your boat, whatever else that you might have. We've tested a lot of products here. I keep coming back, same thing with, with the guys here. They keep coming back to the car guys. There was a short period of time when actually they were just sold out, you know, how everything's happened this pandemic. We had to gravitate towards some other products there, and guess what? You can see here, we're starting to stockpile it because I'm not gonna let that happen again. It's kind of like toilet paper around here. We're gonna make sure we have it. Detailing tractors is a very important part of our business here at Goodworks Tractors. We want clean tractors, both cosmetically and mechanically. Another great stocking stuffer idea. A pretty fun, simple, easy upgrade is changing your light bulbs out. Whether it's the headlights or the fender lights, you could have cab lights as well, even aftermarket add-ons. But LEDs are a really nice enhancement. They change the color of the light. I really prefer the color of the LEDs. It's a lot whiter, a lot brighter color. Uh, you can see a lot further just because of the change in color. I put these in all my tractors. I've done videos specifically covering a lot of models, in particular the John Deere models. However, there are some Kubota models that I've tried out as well, and they fit in there too. An easy way to see uh, what's going to fit with you is you can tell that these two styles right here have a very different connection type, okay? So you got the three prongs on this one. This is kind of a, I don't know, just some other different <laughs> kind of connection that you see right here. So pull your bulb out. That's a halogen if you want to. Take a look at what you have. I do have a video, again, going over uh, a lot of in-depth models that I've done. And in the description of that video are going to be links to different models, like a 1025R or a John Deere 3039R or a 4066R, that kind of thing. But just another really good stocking stuffer idea. Oh, mirrors. I really wish these tractors had them. Cab tractors, they have options for mirrors, but open stations really don't. You add on some mirrors like this, they're good for going down the road, but I've actually found them to be really helpful when I'm using a three-point attachment. Instead of having to crane my back and my neck and just turn everything around, you can actually just position these things because they kind of just rotate around like that, this way, that way, the other thing, you know, and you get these mounts separately if you want to, or you can just bolt this right to uh, your loader arm if you want as well, but they're very handy. You can see just right behind you here, I've used them with a sprayer, flail mower, spreader, um, tiller, brush hog, I mean, anything and everything. You see it behind you, you know the work's getting done. It's just a quick reference, a visual, and plus it's safety if you're going down the road. So the one thing about the mirrors is they're mainly for your John Deere loaders, or you're gonna have to get creative on finding a mount. So the John Deere loaders on the very top of them, most of them have a hole where you can put a bolt right through there, attach the, uh, the mirror bracket, and then put the mirror right onto that. So pay attention to that. Most John Deere loaders is gonna work with. 
If you don't have one of those John Deere loaders, you may have to get a little creative on how you're going to attach the mirror to it. The mirrors and the mirror brackets do come from two different manufacturers. The mirror brackets themselves are right from Muds Customs. I do a lot of work with those guys. They make really good stuff. MudsCustoms.com, you get 5% off the code GWT. I know some of you watching this video are not into tractors at all. You were just sent the video to get some gift ideas. You gotta trust me when I say this stuff is cool to us tractor guys. Next item up here are gonna be trailer tie down points. Most of these tractors do not come with tie down points anywhere on them. It's a problem we all deal with and none of us are happy about it. Fortunately, Muds Customs has come up with some solutions for a lot of the John Deere tractors. They're coming out with solutions for other tractors as well. Let's take a look at what those are. You're gonna see some various brackets that are mounted on here. They're gonna look kind of like this. They're gonna have an ability to put a hook right on here. You can see one here. You can also see another one up front here. And there's also gonna be another version of it on the back as well. This gives you a really safe, secure place to hook on a strap um, or a, a chain, something to tie down that equipment to your trailer and make it really secure. That way you don't have to worry about accidentally going over a, a cylinder or a hose or just some other easily breakable uh, part of your tractor. So again, go to mudscustoms.com, you get 5% off. One of the other really cool brackets, a bracket like this is gonna be specific for the 1025R. It mounts right in the back plate. You wanna make sure you get a little bit of additional information from uh, that, that tractor owner in your life, get the model number, something like this. But this cool one right here includes a receiver as well as those tie down points. This next one here is pretty sweet. This is a chainsaw holder. It goes right on the loader of your tractor. They actually make these things for um, UTVs, side-by-sides, whatever. All sorts of stuff. This one here though, you simply take your chainsaw out, put it right back in. It's one of those really cool products. It's kind of universal. Let me get this out of here so you can get a little bit better look down there at the carrier itself. But really for this version here you just have this one bracket that goes around you just clamp it down bolt it right down right to it there and then you just have the carrier here you bolt it right to this little bracket and boom away you go you might want to move a mirror if you do have one on there or just kind of get it out of the way but it's very easy to use there you go so i've seen them on kubotas john deere's massey's all sorts of tractors out there but a really cool thing that doesn't take up space on your three point or put it in your bucket so it's not usable that way you just kind of get it out of the way and it really doesn't stick out that much further, so you can still get through some pretty narrow gaps going through the woods or down trails, that kind of thing too. Saw Hall, S-A-W, Hall. You're gonna get a link for that below. You can buy it on Amazon. Just go down to that description right underneath the video there. You'll see where you can get it. A universal tractor solution right here is gonna be grease. This is a very good product right here. Really good greasing system, easy to use, eliminates a lot of frustration that typical or traditional grease guns have. Again, this is good not just for your tractors, it's good for other equipment that you have around your shop. This is something that's just gonna get used year round for all sorts of applications. You can get an electric version like this, the typical uh, kind of clamshell squeeze style that you have right here also. The magic really is all about these cartridges here that are unique to Lube Shuttle, their design. It's a German engineered company, but I'll tell you all about these right now. They're reusable, they're recyclable, they don't really get crushed. They have a very heavy duty one inch neck on here that simply screws in and screws out. If anybody in your life has had a grease gun before, they're gonna know there's a grease puddle that they're gonna come out to and see in the garage on the floor. These things don't have it. They work off a vacuum system. There's not really any priming involved besides just simply pushing the bottom of the tube in. That's all you gotta do. These things are awesome. 5% off, go to that link below. It's like lube-shuttle.us slash store. So if you go to that link below in the description, it'll take you right there, 5% off code GWT. This is one of those universal tractor gift ideas. If you have a subcompact tractor or a compact tractor, it doesn't matter if it's John Deere, Kubota, Massey, Coyote, any of those tractors that have a category one three-point hitch this is a great item we ship an absolute boatload of these things all over the country ship them ups ground very cool it's the kind that doesn't require bushings you're going to save yourself a lot of money you don't have to get other bushings to put on your um, attachments that you want to hook up to here it's a direct pin fitment on here for your category one attachments so nothing else to worry about nothing else you need besides just get yourself a little top pin to put it right through here and connect it it comes with the bottom ones just doesn't come with the top one As you can tell, these Rhino Hide canopies are super lightweight, which means they're easy to take on and off. Once you put a few brackets on your tractor here, up on this ROP system here where it's going to connect, it's a couple bolts or a couple little, um, what are those things called? 
Knobs, knobs, we'll call them knobs. Knobs are good. Once you get your brackets installed up here, all it's gonna take to remove this is just turn it a couple knobs that it comes right on and off. Rhino Hyde down over there, he does a really good job with the video showing how these go on and off, how they get installed. This is a very universal type of tractor product. Just go onto his website, just check the main page, make sure your tractor dimensions as far as the ROPS, the rollover protection system goes, kind of fit within that range, which again is the vast majority of subcompact and compact tractors out there. But the reason it's called Rhino Hyde is it's very tough. That's the problem with a lot of these canopies is that they break, whether they're fiberglass or steel they just get damaged very easily but this thing is called rhino hide for a reason don has done a lot of videos with this he runs it over with a truck he's hitting it with a sledgehammer in fact he even shoots it with a 20 gauge uh, shotgun so he puts it through the paces it stands the test of time you get five percent off with code gwt if you go to rhino hide and order this Last item I want to tell you about here is going to be another universal. Okay, these come in black as well as green. I'll put a link below to where you can buy it, but this is a ballast box. This is a safety issue. This is one of the cheapest ways, I've covered it before, but one of the cheapest ways to get that counterweight. When you're using your front end loader, it is very easy to pick up the back side of that tractor and get it off the ground and tip it over, roll over. Very dangerous situation. So you got to have your ballast weight on the back side. I sell suitcase weights, I sell wheel weights. Liquid ballast is another option as well. But a ballast box like this is gonna be great for a category one tractor, okay? So your subcompacts, your compacts, again, the manufacturer, John Deere, Kubota, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you have a John Deere, look for the green one. If you have a Kubota or something else, they make the black version as well. I'll put the link to both down below. But you fill this up, you get six, maybe 700 pounds even of total ballast weight in here. This one here, I like more than a lot of the other options out there because of the fact that it's got a built-in two inch receiver. It's got these fork slots. So if it is empty and you wanna move it around, you can just do so. It also has a trap door. That way, if you wanna empty it out, say you have it filled with sand or with stone, you can empty that out right there really easily. Easily. and it even has a couple of tubes welded in here as built-in tool holders. Well, that's it guys, the top 10 gifts for tractor owners. It's a pretty good variety there. Again, kind of lowest to most expensive, but tractor stuff can get kind of pricey. So I tried to give you a decent variety on the lower price points. If you do want something else, take a look at the website. There are a lot of really cool attachments out there. It can also help with the tractor. Believe it or not, we've sold a few as Christmas presents. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. If you would subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already, that would really help me out. Read through that description again. That's where all the links are gonna be. And then check out the other videos on the channel. Well, until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.